So now that we have created the customer API as well as the inventory API, which is cool. The next operation is to see how we can create a product in the inventory. And this product goes all the way to the customer's API over here. I mean, we don't really have any classical approach to read the database of the inventory service and put all the data into the customer API. You don't see any code that we have written so far, and we are not even going to do that. We are going to make use of the RabbitMQ, the event streaming service, to do that for us. And that is where we need to understand how we are going to be designing that particular architecture. And not for that, I have created a simple architecture over here. And as you can see, this is the customer API and this is the inventory API. And all these communication of the origin of creation of a product in the inventory and pushing that into a topic and how the customer is going to read the topic from the product queue is going to be discussed over here in this particular architecture. So let's go one by one. As you can see, this inventory is the place where the products are going to be originated. So here in this inventory, we already have a controller to create a product. So we're going to create a product. And while we do that, we are also going to push the product into the inventory product queue. And once this is done, this particular topic will be having the data of that particular product. And this topic is going to be listened by our customer API over here. So you can see that it is currently listening. So if there is going to be any new topic, then this particular topic will be read by this particular customer API for us. Once it reads the particular data from the inventory.product topic, then it's going to perform certain operation of storing into the database uh, or its local database, which can be then used by our get products endpoint to retrieve all the information. I mean, those things, you can easily do that. But once you get the data from this topic, you're pretty good to go. That's what is going to be basic, basically going to happen. And the next thing is, we are also going to do some more additional operation. For example, if a customer that we create is going to associate a specific product that it has got, we also need to consume that particular product and reduce the number of products that the customer has purchased. For example, if we have 100 products in this particular product inventory topic, it has stored it over here. And now this customer, while it is going to be consuming 50 products from that particular product ID, then we also need to tell the inventory that the number of products that this customer has used is 50. So you need to reduce the number of inventory items that you have got to 50, not just storing into this customer database, but also publish into the inventory.customer topic so that the inventory service can keep listening and updates its own database. This is quite cool, right? This way, we also see the real-time data updation happens. So that is exactly what we are going to be designing. But for that, we need a topic exchange. We also need two queues, the inventory product queue and the inventory customer queue and also require the listening as well as the publishing of the data. And all these things we are going to be designing starting our next section.